welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Black Friday and I am crazy and I have to actually run to the store. Um, it's my friend's son's birthday today um, and yeah. he has a little birthday party um, this afternoon and I have like a present in it for him and everything but I forgot a card. So <laughs> I have to run to the store to get him a birthday card. Um, so we're gonna do that and Oh, I'm so nervous. I was like, oh, I should go to Walmart. And I was like, no, like, I'm not going to go to Walmart today because it's so crazy. And I was like, I'll just go to the Dollar Tree quickly. They have really cute cards there anyways. Um, so we just have to quickly go to the Dollar Tree. And I'm like nervous because I know it's going to be a shit show. I'm hoping the Dollar Tree isn't busy though just because, um, I mean, it's the Dollar Tree. I feel like the Dollar Tree is like nothing spectacular. Nothing's going to be on sale. So um, we're going to have to quickly go there. Just a little backstory about Thanksgiving. We did spend Thanksgiving alone and it was like quite sad, but I mean, a lot of people spent Thanksgiving by themselves or like without extended family. I just feel like at least I had my boys with me, you know, but I just really missed Cameron a lot, but it is what it is. I still made um, a ham and some like stuffing, mashed potatoes and corn um, and buns. So we still had like a Thanksgiving meal. Um, it was Asher's first Thanksgiving and he loved it. It was so cute. Um, but yeah, hopefully, Karen's hopefully coming home within the next two weeks. Dad home. Dad home. Yeah, Dad, come home soon. Yeah. Um, but hopefully he'll come home within the next two weeks. Um, we're just kind of like more so waiting. We don't have a confirmed date. We just know when the plane is supposed to get there. Um, and I guess like we'll see like if the plane gets there at that date. Um, but hopefully within the next two weeks he'll be home hopefully before our birthday because mine and Asher's birthday is the 16th um so I'm hoping that he'll be home by then um just that'll be the best birthday present is just daddy home like I don't want anything else I don't care about anything else I just want him home so we went to the Dollar Tree and it's actually like it was pretty busy in there I was surprised because like when I first got there no one was in there um as I was shopping around it like more people ended up showing up I was surprised um now we're at Starbucks I shouldn't get Starbucks but I was like like it's gonna be a day today i feel like asher like fell asleep in the car and then normally when i put him into his stroller baby stroller um he'll normally like continue sleeping and he didn't he was just like awake so he's a little cranky right now but hopefully um he'll kind of just like take a little cat nap on the ride home um and then uh, i'll be able to shower during probably as soon as i get home i don't know it depends um hopefully they kind of are good for me um, as I shower. I do have to wash my hair, my hair is super greasy. Ooh. I think while I get ready today, um, hopefully I, I'll do my makeup look while the boys are napping. And I think while I do my makeup, I will answer the house questions because I've had this house Q&A plan to film so many times. Um, and I have all the questions written down on my phone from when I asked you guys on Instagram a long time ago. Um, I have all the questions still. I just haven't done the Q&A. And I know like a lot of you guys actually have still been asking me questions on Instagram, like whenever I post like house updates. Um, so I probably should just like film that video because I promised you guys it and I just never answered it. So um, yeah, we'll answer it in today's video. Um, I don't even want, like, I feel bad. Like I, the lady at the store was telling me that we're going back on a lockdown again. And I was like, what? Like. I didn't hear anything, but apparently that's it. So I'm putting together Carter's present. Um, yeah, Carter. So um, there's a few things that I got. I have this huge bag, but it's just, it's too big of a bag for what I got him. So I got him this Blippi Dig and Find set. Mommy, Mommy. See, it's cool, huh? Yeah. For Carter, it's for his birthday. Yeah, I got him this. Um, I got him this like magic water painting thing. So it's like this, like a bunch of paper, like things, and then you just put water and it just paints. So I got that for him. Um, actually, no, that's mommy's. You cannot have coffee, honey. I got actually these two for Asher and Landon. Um, they were like sticker activity things. So I'm going to put them in their stocking. And then I got this one for Carter. I thought it was cool because um, he likes trucks too. Um, so it's... Wait, where is my card? Go get the card over there. Um, it, it's Tonka, it's over plus, wait, what? It's over 40 plus color forms, I don't know. But it's like stickers, I don't know. He may be too little for it, but like Landon's been doing stickers for a while. 
but it's just like you do stickers and stuff so i got that and then i also got this like play-doh thing it's just a dough modeling thing so it just kind of looks like this i thought it was cute so i got that too. thank you and then how cute so his birthday party is actually cars themed and i found a cars birthday card so i got that so that's what we got carter So that's mommy's. And then I also got him this little two balloon. So I'm actually going to blow it up and attach it to the. Yeah. Hopefully it blows up nicely. I know sometimes these things that kind of suck. But let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it inside of this, probably to the front. Do this, so that way he can also um, play with it or put it somewhere if he wants as well. Yay! Yay! Carter's too. out his card okay guys so i just put landon down for his nap um asher's still around here playing um i'm gonna quickly okay. get my makeup done oh. it's already two o'clock party's at four um landon's not even asleep yet he's just laying there i have a feeling he's gonna have a hard time falling asleep today because he just doesn't want to sleep um, i'm gonna apply my eyelashes i want to apply them i don't know if i will um but so let's talk about the house because that's what you guys really want to know is about the house. Um, well, most people do. Um, I'm telling you guys, it's a question I get all the time is about the house. Um, so I have all the questions here. Um, I listed them all from before, um, which kind of thankful I didn't film it when I was originally going to because there's a lot of things have changed um since we last um well since i last updated you guys in the house um a lot of things has changed um so the number one thing is a lot of people are asking like when we're moving and originally we weren't supposed to move until may um but we were having issues finding a house to close in that time frame for our price range um the biggest issue we're finding is all the houses were like ready now, basically. Um, and the houses that were in the like, the May time frame, like there just was none. Um, they were gonna open up a filing, um, but that filing wasn't gonna open up until like January. Um, and I was like, I don't feel comfortable like holding off until then just because the price increase, um, and then obviously the build time, it could take longer. So we ended up finally deciding on a floor plan that we liked in a builder. Um, I don't know if I updated you guys on this, but, um, or I don't remember last what I talked to you two about. Um, but we ended up narrow, narrow, narrowing, narrowing down a builder. Builder um, was, further away from base and everything like that, but it's like a better area, like school zone, not school zone, but like better school system um, and everything like that. And like, obviously we're planning on putting, planning a school next year and we're probably gonna be in New Mexico for like a total of four years. So we kind of need something that when they go to school, school, it'll be good. So we end up narrowing everything down and deciding on where we're living, gonna be living. Um, and we love it. Um, so the area is actually like 15 minutes from my mom, um, which is awesome. We went under contract with the house and we went under contract, our estimated closing was actually the end of January. Um, and since then there's been a lot of delays uh, and we're now looking at end of February. Um, obviously I'm probably, to 
be honest, knowing how new builds work and everything like that, I'm estimating we'll probably end up closing um, beginning of March. Um, but hopefully we can get in there a little sooner. Um, we are trying to actually move up Cameron's orders and it was great and it was actually approved and then I get denied again. So hopefully we can, hopefully we can actually kind of get that resituated because as of right now, our orders are still for May. Um, but hopefully we can get them pushed back up again. But yeah, as of right now, we are planning an end of February, early March closing. So that's when we're moving. I guess I kind of just answered the next question. How far are you guys from your parents? Um, we're about, the new house is going to be about like 15 minutes, which is awesome. What, what? You have, you help? Um, another thing is, do you, um, do you still plan on working or staying home with the boys? So I actually kind of touched this on, on Instagram. So I was technically no longer working for the company. And then the company ended up like pretty much hiring me on. Um, and then, but it was more so until I leave. Um, because like they knew I was moving and stuff. And I was like, you know, I'm still willing to work with you guys. Like if it's okay being 100% remote, um, yada, yada. And basically they ended up giving me the offer to continue working um, once I move. So I did take the offer and I will be technically working from home 100% um, full time once I move, which should be interesting because right now I'm like, I work like 30 ish hours a week. So working full time is going to be pretty, pretty interesting. But um, I think it'll be easier maybe like because the boys will be a little bit older. Um, they'll be able to kind of like play more and Asher won't be as dependent on me throughout the day as much as he is right now. I mean, it's, it's only like four months away, but, or three months away. Um, but he'll be one next month and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it is. Um, obviously they still depend on me, but, um, I think it'll just be a little different. Um, so yeah, I do plan on still working, um, once I move. Um, I don't know for how long because I'm not very happy with some things that are happening with my job. Um, so we'll see how long it lasts. But as of right now, I do still plan on working um, and staying home with my boys. So work from home, stay at home moms, <laughs> it is hard. Um, but to me, it's well worth it. Um, I love being home with them. I love being the one to play with them and like teach them things. So yeah, I still plan on doing that for as long as I can. Um, I know we plan on actually putting Landon in school next year, just because he will be three in March. Um, and we'll just, we, we think it'll be good like a couple days a week just for him to kind of get out of the house and also just kind of have like his own time. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm not it makes him kind of sad, but I think it'll be really good for him. Do you need help? Do you need help? Oh, let me hold you. Or I don't like the idea of daycare and stuff, but I think the boys are also older now where it's just a little, it's going to be a little bit different for me. Um, I still would love to just stay home with my boys um, and take care of them. Nope, you can't have that. You can have this. You want to hold this? But um, I think it'll be really good for Landon, especially. Um... Just to, just to get out of the house, kind of have a change of scenery. Um, and yeah, I don't, he wouldn't do full time. Maybe it's just like three, two to three times a week for like half a day. Um, you want to put my makeup on? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, I just think it'll be really good for him. Um, and just to kind of have his own time away from his brother too, just so he's not always, you know, I don't want him to always think like he has to do everything with his brother. Um, so yeah. Um, next question was how many bedrooms? So our new house is, um, actually a four bedroom house. Um, kind of like what we have now, just because since we finished the basement, we now have four bedrooms. Um, so it is what we have now, but it is bigger. Oh, thank you. It is bigger. Um, it is a four bedroom house. Um, it's, I think it's like 20, it's just over 2,600 square feet. Um, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Um, yucky. Mm. 
it is um it is a it's it's a beautiful house like i can't wait to show you guys it's it's exactly what i wanted like floor plan wise um i did wish i had a formal dining room which i don't and i just honestly wanted it just more so the fact to have it um because i mean we honestly we we barely eat at the table uh, but actually we have been eating at the table oh don't eat that since karen's been gone we eat at the table every night so and every morning and every for lunch but um we will have kind of like what we have now where it's like a kitchen living room and dining room kind of connect all together don't eat that um so yeah it is a four bedroom house but it has a den um when you walk in so that will be my office and then it also has a loft area um upstairs <laughs> so it is much bigger and it has more space so that's what we were more so needing um and so like i wanted a five bedroom house but because it had a den i was okay with having a four bedroom because it had that den it just doesn't have doors the next question is how long will the whole process take? So their build time is, I believe they said like six to eight months or something like that. You you can have this one, um, like six to eight months. Um, so it started, it started it, like the foundation went in back in October. So October, October, November, December, January. It'll probably end up taking them like five to six months to actually build our house. Um, so it is a brand new house. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, but it is a brand new house. It's a new build. Um, so they are currently building it. And it, we will be the first people who ever lived there. Which kind of the same thing like with our house now. We have a new build now. So I love the idea of like a new build. Um, when do you... Where where, where do you get inspo so to decorate? I think that was real wrong. I've been putting a lot of like inspo like boards together. Um, I've been like looking on Pinterest and just like kind of like shopping around at like Target and like um, West Elm and like things like that and kind of like putting ideas together. Um, but Pinterest is definitely like my number one like inspo. But then also like Instagram, like I love looking at other people's homes and kind of getting inspo and kind of what I want. Our new house, we definitely want to take our time to actually decorate it. So I just want to make my foundation on. It's 2.30 now and Landon's still not sleeping. Landon's, I'm kind of getting frustrated because like he legit just won't sleep. But um, I was just talking to my mom because my mom just told me uh, my grandfather passed away as you guys may know. Um, I talked about it on my Instagram and um, he passed away the beginning of the month and uh, my mom's actually finally on her way home. She's been in Portugal for like three weeks. My mom's been in Portugal for like three weeks and then she was in Rhode Island for a couple week, uh, a couple days, sorry. And she told me today, apparently, that my grandfather, when he passed away, he had this ring. And it's like a Portuguese gold ring with like a red ruby. And apparently when he passed away, he told them that he wanted me to have it. And it makes me super emotional because, I mean, I've always had a soft spot for my grandfather. Um, like always. Like I've always, I've just... I love my grandmother, don't get me wrong, but I just always had a soft spot for my grandfather. Um, and the fact is he wanted me to have it and he told everyone that it's for Ruthie. And I feel just so honored that he wanted me to have it. Um, and I've never had anything from my father when my father passed away. Like I don't have anything of his. Um, and Sometimes that bothers me that I don't have anything, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, but I have my grandfather's ring and that makes me like very, very, very happy and very proud. I think my mom's actually trying to come to Colorado in um, once, like next week or something. And um, so where do you, oh, I guess another thing about like where do I buy from with like my decorate. Um, so I love the thrift store. I think you can get some really great unique finds at the thrift store um and then i love like target i love amazon i love amazon i love amazon i love um like h&m home i think they have really great things too but definitely like the thrift store and then amazon target h&m my makeup's just not coming out how i want it to today it's kind of bothering me so another thing is how big is your new home i already answered that um are you keeping your current house that's actually a question i got a lot was if i'm keeping my current house and the answer is no um in order to free up my va loan without having 
to put extra money down, I have to sell this house to free up the VA loan. Because with VA, you only get like, um, I forget what the cap is now. I know when we first bought a home, the cap was like 400000 um, And now I think the cap is like five something or maybe high four. Um, but our current house is like two eighty um, when we bought it. So I think we now owe like two sixty. Um, we would have to put most of the loan on an FHA loan, which is just like more closing costs. And yeah, so we are selling this house. God willing, we will be selling this house first, and then hopefully like the same week as our new house. Well. I'm hoping that it all kind of like meshes together. If not, we'll be homeless for a little bit, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, so yeah, we are selling this house first and then buying our new house. We wanted to keep it as a rental, but we will be listing it. Um, uh, will you do a house tour? I do plan on doing a house tour. Um, that's like one of the, I actually have like a lot of videos that I want to film for the new house. Um, Hopefully I can get most of it filmed, or hopefully I can get most of the videos I want to do done. Um, but since I will be working, I don't know how much I'll be able to actually do. Um, but hopefully I can get a lot of the videos done. Like I just want to, there's a lot of videos that I want to film. So hopefully I can get most of them done um, and filmed, um, but we'll see. I definitely want to do like an empty house tour and then like a house tour once I like decorate everything or most of it because we plan on like I said we plan on getting like all new furniture bringing everything with us just so we have furniture um we do plan on just having like all new items and just a whole new style um I definitely just like prefer like I wouldn't just say boho but just like the modern farmhouse type look I feel that's definitely more like the vibe that I'm going towards um, for the new house. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can get everything in. I just, I don't want to spend too much money either. Um, so that's why we're just going to take everything with us and that way, like, hopefully just slowly buy everything. So I had someone else ask me a question about how much my house cost. Um, and I, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if I should answer this, um, but the housing market is very expensive. Um, if you are looking at houses or if you know, like the price of housing is just like, it's disgusting how expensive it is, but it's just, I mean, that's just what happens right now. Um, but our current house, the house that we're, we went on a contract for, um, I think the start price of it was like 311 uh, and then it has like $25,000 in upgrades. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be very blunt. <laughs> um, and I don't know, like I don't, I don't want this to come across as bragging or anything because I'm by no means in bragging. Um, but the house is, the start price of it was like 311 and then there was like a $5,000 lot premium. You laughing? It was like a $5,000 lot premium and then there's like $25,000 upgrades in the home that we put in. Um, so in all, it's, I think our purchase price is like, right now it's like 341, um, which is more than we wanted. We were actually, when we first started looking at houses, we were looking at like the 330 price range. Um, but again, this house, it's a little bit more expensive, but it, it's just in a nicer area. It has um, a lot of upgrades in the house that we like. Um, it is a smart home, which is a big plus for me. Another question someone asked me was about, um, does this have like everything I want in the home? And it doesn't, like this house has a pretty small backyard, which is something I actually really wanted was a bigger backyard. But um, New Mexico as a whole, um, a lot of the new builds and the areas that we're looking at just they don't have a lot of land um, which sucks but I mean our house here in Colorado has a pretty decent sized backyard but it's still a small cookie cutter type backyard um, and 
it's kind of like the same thing in the new house, but the new house actually has a smaller backyard than we have now. One thing with our new house, we're going to have like zero scaping in the backyard, um, just because I guess like grass and backyards in New Mexico aren't really a thing. Um, so we won't have like grass, um, but across the street from us, like across like to the right of us, we actually have like a huge um, like common area type thing and it's a huge grassy area. So we have that for the kids, which will be nice just to go there. Um, but yeah, my backyard is a lot smaller than my new house and I'm like kind of sad about it, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, you can't be too picky, especially for the price range that we're in. So I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera, put my lashes on and then I'll hop back on here. Hey guys, so I'm like putting on my lashes. I have like one last lash to put on and Landon literally just fell asleep and it's 3 30 now which means we have to leave in like the next like 15 minutes I and mean, she lives in the neighborhood so it's not like I have to drive far but I actually have to pick something up so I mean getting my two kids in a car getting everything ready I'm like of course you would fall asleep like now so he's only gonna have like a 30-ish minute nap today so that should be fun He's gonna be like super cranky, but I guess it is what it is, right? So this is my cute little outfit. I just had like this shirt on. I think I wore this last time I went to her house. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But I just have like this little shawl. Um, I think it looks so cute. It's like comfy, but um, yeah, I'm going to, I guess like pack everything up downstairs that I may need. Um, or like try to pack everything up kind of so I can just kind of get the kids ready to go they're both sleeping and like I said it's 340 now so I have to actually leave in like like 10 minutes 15 minutes I have to leave so um yeah I guess I'm just gonna go get everything situated I think I look so cute so um yeah I don't know, I feel like my hair is just... I don't know why I care, I mean I shouldn't, but... I just always like to like put together, you know? I don't. Always. 